Sometimes in your life, barriers appear that threaten to stop you achieving your goals and pursuing your dreams. Indeed, history is filled with incredible individuals who were initially ignored, rejected, or even ridiculed. Albert Einstein received terrible school reports and was eventually expelled. Walt Disney was once fired because he lacked imagination and ideas. How you respond to these barriers says a lot about your character and sense of determination. If this is true, then there is perhaps no better example than German mathematician and physicist Amy Noether. Throughout her life, Noether met and overcame incredible barriers and challenges, from gender bias to racial persecution. Noether showed remarkable resilience and perseverance to become one of the greatest mathematicians in history. Amelie Emmy Noether was born in Germany in 1882. Her family was well educated, with her father Max being a respected mathematician in his own right. Emmy's mother came from a wealthy merchant family, which provided her with access to education. However, during this time, the education of a young woman mainly involved the arts and languages. While Emmy enjoyed these subjects, her real passion was mathematics. Encouraged by her father and brothers, Emmy later attended the University of Erlangen. It was here that she experienced the first of many barriers to her academic journey. During this period of German history, women were not allowed to study at universities. Noether and her family lobbied hard for her to be admitted into her courses. Eventually, the university agreed to let Emmy audit her classes. This meant she could attend classes but could not complete any of the assessed work. While this provided Noether with access to education, she received no official recognition of her studies. However, Noether's mathematical ability was simply too advanced to ignore and in 1907 she was awarded a PhD in mathematics. The barriers to Noether's academic journey continued despite this achievement. Women were not allowed to hold paid teaching positions at German universities. Again, this did not deter Noether, who taught unpaid for seven years at the Mathematical Institute of Araugen. Noether's teaching methods were quite different to those of her colleagues. Believing that her students should be as self-motivated as she was, Noether took what we would call a hands-off approach to teaching. Her students were encouraged to develop their own theories and approach to solving problems. These methods quickly attracted a loyal following of young mathematicians who were given the nickname Noether's Boys. Her approach to teaching further demonstrates what a unique and remarkable woman Noether was. Emmy Noether's contributions to mathematics were varied and complex in nature. The majority of her research involved abstract algebra, which included the study of rings, groups, and fields. Complex examples of functions and relations. Noether's research was considered quite controversial at the time. Her abstract approach to mathematics differed significantly from other mathematicians who largely dealt with concrete ideas. One of Noether's most important achievements was linking two crucial concepts, conservation law and symmetry. Noether proved that an object or system symmetry is directly linked to the conservation of energy. For example, a spinning bicycle wheel will never fall over while it is spinning. This is because the shape of the wheel conserves its energy due to its own momentum. This concept, known as Noether's theorem, was one of the most important discoveries in the history of physics. Emmy Noether lived through a dynamic and often violent period of German history. She witnessed the horrors of World War I, as well as the insidious build-up to another. Towards the end of her life, Noether experienced firsthand the discrimination of Nazi Germany. In 1933, the ruling Nazi party banned all Jews from holding government positions. This ban extended to university professors. Noether chose not to resist this decision, for a fear that doing so would jeopardise her research or worse, her life. Instead, she continued researching and lecturing in her small apartment, realising that her native Germany was now far too dangerous. Noether had migrated to America. Tragically, she passed away shortly after, leaving an incredible legacy across many academic disciplines. So great were the contributions of this incredible woman that Einstein referred to her as the most significant creative mathematical genius since the higher education of women began.